hi what's up how is it going today's video i'm gonna show you how to create uh, a birthday card in color 2021 without further ado let's step into it so right now let's go over and change the page to a4 it's gonna be a uh, fold card so let's just create an object just like so before we go further we have to make duplication this will be the back of the card so right now let's step on into it so right now what you're gonna do is to go ahead and just bring this out so change the color to white then you can clip this picture into place let me show you how to do that select picture then you locate power clip then you hit on place inside frame select the frame automatically snap into the frame without key down select the picture then you release the out key position the picture so well good so right now what you need to do is to go ahead and uh, give the background color so go ahead to your what's it called to color hydropower to click on that then you sample this this color right here from the clue then with a while for it to pick the color then you put it on the background can you see that so right now as this right now we are going to create an effect you know uh that is very so what we're going to do right now is to go ahead to your what's it called locate your interactive field to drag on the object then you go ahead to uh let's click on uh what's it called right from here elliptical fountain so right now what you need that to do is to just click this place then you slide this white we actually gonna make uh that uh white space a, a bit lighter click on that good automatically it applies then you go ahead and just click outside so what we need to do now this click on this we have to make that portion a bit darker good so let's go ahead and just expand this a little bit then let's squeeze it a bit then make this a bit you know longer we can actually position it behind its uh, head can you see that so right now what we needed to do now is to type you know go ahead to your what's it called test to let's type a p 50s birthday birthday so right now change the test to white then you go ahead and locate you know uh futura t you can use any font that you prefer you know as well this you know our projects we are going to be using futura t so right now what you need to do is to go ahead and hit ctrl k to break the uh, test into pieces make this a bit smaller then locate you know our shape to increase the tracking just like so so right now what we need to do now is to go ahead and just you know uh maneuver this 50 what we are going to do make it bolder then you hit ctrl k to break that into pieces let's combine this make this a bit smaller position that aside first let's delete this you know uh the the number so what we are going to do now is to create you know uh go over to helix to let's create a perfect circle hold control key down your keyboard then you drag just like so automatically you have this so let's just you know pull it in just like so when you get your destination you right click automatically copy paste then you select the two it combine then change that to white so let's just give the outline you know black so right now we're going to do next to go ahead and create an object on top a branded object on top of the uh, object that I've created previously 
So what you can select the previous one, then hit on C and E to center it within the uh, uh, object. So let's pull it, pull it in just like so. Then you pull it in to make a copy to the other side just like so. Right click on, on your uh, mouse automatically copy paste. Then you select it to combine. So in this case right now we are going to trim part of this five. So what we are going to do is to hold shift key on the keyboard then select the five. Then head on to our uh, displays. It on trim automatically trims that part off. Let's delete this. We don't need that anymore. Good. So right now what we need that to do next is to go ahead and just combine this. Then let's go ahead to gradient effect. So let's apply uh, a gradient effect to that. Double click on this line. So right now what we're gonna be doing is to change this part to black. So let's just you know squid it in to make a classic effect right there. Good. Good. So what we need that to do now is to right click to set the outline to white. Then hit on F12 to uh, take in the outline. Let's make it to it on scale. Then bind fill. It's okay. Good. So in this case, what we're gonna do is to just bring this TH a bit closer to that. Then let's group the two together. Let's add on to uh, what's it called? The shadow tool. Let's give it a shadow. Good. Can you see that the effect right there? Go ahead to object. Okay, break drop shadow apart. Automatically breaks. Then you hit Ctrl G to group it all up. Position it so well, just like so. So let's reduce the <coughs> bit there. Let's go ahead to uh, what's it called? Shape tool. Then you increase the tracking just like so. Go. Reduce this. Then you position this at the top of the what's it called? 50. Hit on uh, shape tool. Let's reduce tracking a little bit. Then center to the part there. Can you see that? Here we are. So the next thing right now is to type the guy's name. So his name is uh, something. Something. So right now what we need to do now is to close the tracking. So make it bigger. Let's go ahead and change the font to Bridget. Uh, we we'll make use of. Uh, Brush script, any brush script whatsoever. Good. So we need to make this. Uh, a bra let's make it a brush script. Oh, let's use. Uh, so let's make use of this. Edward. Go ahead to your shape to choose a tracking just like so. In this case, let's make it bigger. So right now, what we need to do is to just let's squeeze it a bit. Quite nice. Go ahead to your shape to. Good. So right now, what we need to do is to make just make it reduce that. We have to make it a bit, you know, straight straighten that all up. So right click on to set the outline to white, then you hit on F12. Let's change the thickness of the outline to a thicker one. So right now here we are. Good. We have to make it simple. So what we're gonna do now is to just let's change the color to this. Let's make it a bit, you know, lighter. Good. Go ahead and sample the color. Then you point on the outline. Good. Can you see that? 
so right now it's this right now we are going to create a pattern you know at the background so let's go over to create an object just like so change that to black force right click then make a copy forward right click to copy paste then hit on R control R for repeat automatically it's copy paste all the way good so let's group it change the white again then you go ahead and come convert to bitmap go ahead to your what's it called transparency to click on uniform transparency then you go ahead and lengthen it all up to suit what you want to use it for good so right now what you need to do click once again then squeeze it just like so then you go over again convert to bitmap so after all of this part clip into place then adjust that a little bit center back good here we are so right now let's change the bar to this color then you go over and make a copy so right now what we are going to do is to change this to click on our uh, what's it called transparency tool then you go over let's change the background to a pattern good so right now what we are going to do is to just tap on white to lengthen the background so that whatsoever I want to type on the uh, background it, it can actually show so so this is where we're gonna have the test other witches and all of that uh, about the bad day about the person so blah 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 and all of that so here is the end of the tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and by clicking on the button below subscribe and don't forget to hit that like button so that other people can benefit from what we are what we have shared so far see you in the next video bye for now